Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're going to interrupt Fixed Blade Friday. We're going to have a Fun Knife Friday. And this is a Fun Knife Friday unboxing. Uh, some of you guys may have known or, or not have known, but there was a uh, deal on uh, eBay. And uh, Doom Crew Outdoors contacted me and several other YouTubers, and they had some... Uh, case uh trappers uh carbon steel uh that were new in the box for $25 so you know me and a bunch of other guys we all jumped on it and I thought since I'm bringing everybody in on this I brought all my yellow trappers out because yellow trappers number one make me happy uh but also it's kind of an initiation you know you know these yellow knives they all get together ask William they all talk and stuff and so you know these guys had heard that a new yellow trapper was coming so they all wanted to know about it uh from the top down we have a uh, old timer uh in the yellow delrin we have a more maker uh trapper that has uh yellow bone and then we have a uh, case trapper this is the smkw exclusive in 1095 carbon and this is the uh yellow <clears throat> Delrin tra Trapper in stainless that my wife got me. And so uh, I was carrying that one today, as a matter of fact. But he had a question about the uh, steel, and we'll, and we'll talk about that later. I'm going to go ahead and, and use this uh, knife here. I'll use that, that spade blade that everybody seems to think is, is no good for nothing. Let's open this guy up and and see what we got. I'm trying not to cut it too hard because I don't want to go through my board. <laughs> so let's get this thing opened up and take a look at the box. Okay, here we go. Carbon steel. And let's get the uh, Stuff Yellow Synthetic Smooth Trapper 3254 CS. And uh, wow, if this is uh, it's born on date, then it was born on uh, Veterans Day, which is uh, pretty awesome. So anyways, let's put this guy away. Let's see what we have. We're going to do a QC inspection and the whole nine yards. So I have not seen this knife at all. Here's the box. Here's the uh, paperwork that gives you all your product information. And it's wrapped up in the little wax paper. Let's take a look and see what we got here. All right. So first, first things first, let's look. It is nice and clean. The shield is there. And now let's look for that all, all important back spring. Let's take a look here. I think this one looks, uh, looks pretty good. What do you guys think? I'm happy with that. All right, let's see what kind of action we have on this one. Nice pull on the main blade. And there you go, the Case XX. And let's... A uh, good one on the uh, spade blade, too. So here you go, 3254 CS. Now, some people were asking, is the CS or the carbon steel the same as 1095? Because uh, on the... Uh, let's see. Oh, that's the stainless steel one. Sorry. On the uh, SMKW exclusive they had their stamped uh 1095 so there's a question is you know this and this equivalent and the answer is yes if you look on the case website they have a little article uh saying that you know basically due to supply chain issues and stuff it was getting harder and harder for them to source the their uh cv steel which was kind of a blended 1095 that they were using. I think 
SMKW actually had them stamp it 1095, uh, you know, on purpose to make it an exclusive. But the uh, CS that they're using, the carbon steel, that is 1095. So that's according to uh, Case's website. So if you have any questions uh, on that, you can certainly find out from them. But uh, yeah, it looks like we have a new yellow trapper in the mix. Uh, <clears throat> the trapper pattern started back in uh, the 20s. Uh, so it's been around for a long time. And it's still an awesome, awesome work knife. This one feels great in hand. And I can't wait to uh, start carrying this one. I like it. Uh, so, yes, another yellow trapper, another great one. And as you can tell, uh, yeah, I got a problem with yellow trappers. <laughs> but you guys knew that already. You guys already knew that I had probably all, all kinds of problems that you just were nice and you didn't say anything about it. And I appreciate that. I really do. But, uh, yes, I think that uh, this is going to be uh, another great knife. And I'm glad I could uh, share it with you. I don't do many unboxing videos, but, uh, yeah, this one was definitely fun. So I will uh, go ahead and leave it here. Things should go back to normal as far as uh, going back to uh, fixed blade uh, on uh, uh, next Friday. And uh, definitely tune in on uh, Sunday on the live stream. I think you guys will be uh, pretty pleased with the uh, guest lineup that I have uh, going there. I'm going to, you know, be quiet about that. It'll be a secret. You guys have to tune in. And I'll bet you'll want to stick around for the whole thing once you see it. Anyways, that's all I got for this one. And I guess I will see you on Sunday. Take it easy, guys.